Olivia. I'm one out of the four curls. Um, just wanted to say hi before we get into the video. Uh, we're going to have a new um, product line launched for four curls. It's going to be stuff designed not only for powerful black women, but for little girls, teens, and toddlers. Um, me and my sisters have been working on this line, and it's going to be launched very soon. Um, we've already created lots of stuff that we think you'll love. So we'll have some details in the description box below. Please press subscribe and press the little bell to get notified. Bananas. B A N A N A S. Hi, <laughs> welcome to Four Curls. I know we haven't been here in a while, but uh, we have a couple we, secrets yeah. to tell you. So are they secrets? No, they're not secrets. Tell everyone what we are about to tell you. Uh, but we are back, Four Curls. For those of you who are coming to our page for the very first time. Um, just to give you a little background on us, we started this page a few years ago, and it was kind of just like a blog, four curls representing the four of us, me and my three daughters. Ava, Ava. Olivia, and Anaya. Yes, and it was kind of, I guess at that point, it was my um, transitioning to going back to natural hair, and I really explained why it was important to me, especially having girls and the significance of all of that. But I'm not gonna bore you with all that right now. Uh, you can go back and look at other other videos to check all that out. But now we are back and we have some exciting news. Drum roll. All right, who wants to share what we're doing right now? Okay, Ava. We have a full horse line and to everyone. We do have and come in the long for curls because they're gonna get lots of stuff. And now let's go on to Olivia. Yes, Olivia, would you like to elaborate on what we're doing? Yes, yeah, so basically we're going to have a four curls line. Not basically, we are going to. We have. We have oh. been busy these past, you know, months that you haven't seen us creating. So tell them what we have been creating. But don't tell too much because it's kind of like we can't tell you exactly yet because it's a surprise. But, surprise. yeah. Um. So we have a, we're creating, well, we have created <laughs> a four curls line. Yes. Um, not just for women, but for girls teenagers and you know little toddlers anybody in the whole wide universe yes basically that covers it <laughs> and um it's basically for little girls <laughs> so okay i'll take over from here i yes. think you did good okay so we have you know when i had uh created this page originally um i really kind of spoke about how uh, my daughter is 13 and for the past you know 12 years of her life I have always had to go out and kind of make things for her that represented her or that looked like her. And I know I'm not unique in this. I know that you guys have all experienced it, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, even when it was something as simple as a hair care product, you know, it's become more prevalent now and more accessible now, but that wasn't always the case. You know, I used to have to travel at least, you know, 45 minutes from my house to get hair products or order them. And so as a mother with young black girls, I, you know, I would always, you know, uh, make shirts for them, design things for their room, jewelry pieces. It wasn't things I could find online. It was something I have to create, go and order, and then they would have it. And so with us creating the blog, it kind of brought more attention um, to the things that we were doing. And people just began asking us about our pieces. And this is how our, our business kind of evolved. We decided to um, just make these available to everyone. And I know just how important and meaningful it has been in our lives and how it has made my daughters have such a sense of pride in themselves and who they are and we are excited to share that with you but with four curls we really it's a line of products which is pretty cool you know i being the mother i have worked on things that i think um, other women would enjoy and appreciate but my daughters have worked on things that you know your daughters might like you know, and it truly is created by them. If you look at Olivia's line that she's coming out with, it's products that she has handpicked, has designed, has picked the colors. I mean, these are things that appeal to a 13-year-old girl. And the same thing with Ava. Um, she has, has these great things in the works. And Ava is very serious about her, her business, and I'm very proud of them. Um, they really have put so much into it. But so we just wanted to kind of give you an update as to look out for us and to be expecting these things. But the very first thing that we have coming out, which will probably be available in the next week or two, is um, a line of, uh, these are shower curtains that we have designed. We actually work with some other black artists and um, they'll be available really soon.
But I wanted to make one special uh, like point or note about that. Um, you know, I had made shower curtains for myself, you know, years ago. Um, shower curtains, home curtains, all kinds of stuff. And when I went into um, deciding to design these and make these available to other people, I started researching online just to see what was out there. And we didn't have much, you know, in the main market at all. You know, I saw things like on Etsy and I saw one company that was pretty, probably the, the main person who was doing that online. Um, but since that time, I have seen so many other sites come up and try to uh, duplicate these works. And I just, the point I want to make with that is that I think, you know, um, you know, having more things accessible for us and our girls is fantastic. You know, that's never can be a bad thing. But I think it is important that you do look at who you're purchasing from. You know, the main company that I saw, you know, last year when I was beginning our business and, and working on this was uh, Pardon My Fro. And I say that because, you know, I don't know this business, but I certainly want to give props and acknowledgement to her because I had seen a lot of her work. And since that time, I have seen kind of like a copycat company um, has come up and actually has been selling her images and selling her work. And I've seen them do this to other artists. And um, I'll just give you a quick scenario or kind of a story that this kind of reminds me of. Uh, when I first went natural, I don't know, three years ago, um, or right before I went natural, I, have, I was taking a visit to our local like beauty supply store. And I had just had my youngest daughter. So um, I just hadn't been out there in a while. And again, you know, I have to drive like 45 minutes to get to this store from my house. And I was going there, I was gonna pick up hair supplies and you know, you can get all kinds of stuff. So I was gonna get some jewelry, some makeup, a bunch of things. So I was prepared to spend some money that day. And I was out, my daughter is a newborn, and my other daughter was really young as well. So I had the kind of stroller where you could put a car seat, you know, the baby was in the front, and then my toddler um, could stand up or she could sit in the back. But I, it wasn't uh, an overly big stroller, and I didn't have like uh, undercarriage where I could put stuff, none of that was there. So I go into the store, prepare, like I told you, I was ready to spend some money. And I go in there and they just treated me so badly. I went in there and they, you know, as I'm walking and shopping, they come, no, no, you can't bring that in here. You know, they just came at me as though I was plotting to steal in their store, which I've never stolen a thing in my life. So that certainly wasn't my intention. And I said, listen, I don't have any bags. You can see what I have. I have two babies here. Okay. You don't have, you don't have like carts in your store. It's not, even, do you expect me to hold a baby, hold another baby, hold my pocketbook and shop at your store? It's just, it's not going to work. But they were adamant, they were rude, disrespectful. And for a moment, I even felt like saying, you know what, let me take my kids out the stroller and let them see what it looks like to have an infant, you know, crawling around your store and a, a two-year-old pulling things down, you know. But obviously, I'm not going to let my kids, you know, loose in the store. I'm not having my baby crawl on the floor. And then I just said to myself, actually, I said to them, I said, you know what, I was prepared to come here today. I drove 45 minutes to come to your store. I was prepared to spend my money in your store. And you've just treated me, you know, with such disrespect. And I said, I refuse to come to the store again. And that was literally the last time I ever, I stepped in that store. And as I'm, I'm saying this, another woman walks by and she's like, oh, they, they always treat us badly. And it, I'm just saying all of this, you know, to say that this, this particular store was, was not black owned, okay? However, they everything in the store was catered to the black community. We supported this store. If it wasn't for the black community, this store would not be here. It wouldn't be making money. Yet the same people who you're profiting off of, you treat like, like garbage, you know? And so I had a big problem with that. And I said, I'm not gonna go there again. And I stopped. That was the last day I've been there. And that just makes me think of these same companies now who are coming out and they see the opportunity to make money off the black you know, market um, off the black community. And they simply, you know, I feel like they infiltrate almost into Facebook pages and into groups to find out what's, what's the big thing and to steal images from artists. And then they just go and throw it out there and try to sell it to you, you know, just to take your dollar. And, you know, yes, a lot of these companies can offer things cheaper. You know, we are, I'm not a, a Chinese manufacturer, so you're not, you know, I have to go out and, and get people to make these things and manufacturers. And I'm not Walmart. You know, I don't have pockets that deep and I don't, I'm not able to buy, you know, 50,000 units at one time to get your price down to here. But there's, there's sometimes a bigger picture and sometimes it's more important than just, I can get it, you know, $10 cheaper if I order from this company. I mean, think about who you're supporting. 
You know, you're supporting people who don't support you, who could care less about you, who the money they make off of you, that you never see any of that. That never goes back into your community. It doesn't go into, you know, you know, in order for us to have, you know, these these black leaders we want in our community, these these black leaders come from black homes. We need to support this and nurture this to have this. You know, so I don't want to go off on a tangent on it, but I just think it's it's really important to look at your source where you're getting things from. And especially right now, because I see that um, just the natural hair community, these things are really becoming much more mainstream and accepted. And a lot of people who put us on the, the corner shelf or the backspace or who didn't even think about us before just see an opportunity to make money and they're jumping on it, you know? And opposed to someone who is, who is there, who is part of the struggle, who understands it, who gives back to the community, who's part of that community, there's just a difference there. So I've always tried to support black businesses myself. And as I continue to post and come online, I like to share with you some of the businesses and the artists um, that I have worked with. And maybe you've never heard of them. And you know, this is how we grow. This is how we build our community by, by supporting. Um, and so in about a week or so, I will be uh, back, you know, back to the curtains. In a week or so, we will have them available. So again, if you are interested, make sure you just say yes um, in the comments section, and I will make sure you get a link to the products when they are available. But you know, it, it does take a lot to make these. As I said, I was working since last year on developing this line. This is the cur my curtains coming out or just one aspect of it, but we have a lot of things coming out. Um, and like I said, it takes a lot to find the right products, the right people you want to work with, the right artists, to find uh, a company or a manufacturer or a factory to work with. So, you know, we will have these in hand and there won't be long waits. You know, you order it and you can have it in two, you know, three days. You know, it can be in your home and in your possession. So it's an exciting time. And this is really a labor of love. You know, this is something that I'm passionate about. I'm something that means something to me. It's something that I've seen, uh, I've watched firsthand um, as it, on how it has affected my own children, you know? Um, so I'm just proud of it and I'm excited to share it with you guys and for you guys to have some of these pieces in your home. So anyway, we'll talk to you soon. This is the beginning of many more uh, Facebook uh, videos and connections. So thank you, stay with us, four girls. Bye. The camera. I know I can. <laughs> I know I can. People are calling me. And I got it. I know I can. I know I can. I know I can. I know I can. People are calling me. That we're cutting. Olivia! <gasps>